Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark the World Oral Health Day. It was conceptualized by the International Dental Federation, FDI, and has been observed annually on the 20th of March since 2013. It's estimated that about 3.5 billion people of the world population will have one or more oral health disease in their lifetime. This ranges from bad breath, dental caries, trauma, to tumors which may be cancerous or non-cancerous. The team for the next three years sent out a powerful, uh, even though it's a simple message, be proud of your mouth. Joining us now to discuss this is Dr. John Wimembu, the Secretary General of the Nigerian Dental Association, Lagos. Good evening and thanks for joining us on the news. Thank you. Thank you. It's World Oral Health Day okay. and the theme is be proud of your mouth. I believe this emphasizes value on um, you know, oral health. How can we show better value for our dental hygiene? Okay, um, like you said, the World Oral Health Day, the whole concept is to push to the front burner the importance of oral health, not just as oral health, but to general health and to the general well-being. So for our oral hygiene practices, maintaining a, some very good oral hygiene practices will go a long way in not just making our oral health to be top-notch, but also, most importantly, the general health. Our such practices as uh, having to see, the, like we always advise, see a dentist at least twice a year, uh, adequate uh, tooth brushing. Most especially, we, advi we advise you brush twice daily in the morning and last thing at night. And then, coming to dietary uh, intake, we always advise that you, you know the diets, the kind of dietary intakes you take and when to take them, which is very important. Like for most of this sugary, what we call cariogenic diet, we always advise you take them very close to meal times or at meal time so that you have the chewing action of eating, the chewing action of the meal would help to wipe away mo most of these food residues and that helps to uh, improve your oral hygiene. So what are some tooth brushing techniques that we need to know? Um, okay, tooth brushing techniques. There are various tooth brushing techniques, but what I would just say is that most of these techniques aim at uh, a particular function, and that is to protect the gum. Depending on the type of toothbrush you use, the most important thing is that the techniques you use are aimed at protecting the gum so that you don't traumatize them and uh, cause further harm to the teeth. Hmm. Yes. So I, I guess some you could... Yeah, some of the, okay, the, for, the, for the most common ones, we have the circular technique. We have the circular technique. You just make a circular motion around your teeth. And then we have the bass technique where you brush top down and down up. For mm. the, the upper jaw, top down, the lower the jaw, down up. And uh, this is aimed at majorly preventing trauma because even the toothbrush could act as a source of trauma to the gum in the mm. mouth and naturally once there is trauma the gum tends to recede. Mm. So earlier you mentioned diets yes. so I wanted you to um, explain this further. What's the impact of our diet on our oral health? Okay yeah our, our diet plays a very important role in our on, on our oral health and uh, when we say a diet here. We're talking about mostly cariogenic diets, as in the sticky, sugary, sticky foods, uh, such as, such as uh, the chocolates that uh, we take. Even some of these fruits and drinks we take are acidic in, in nature, like the apples and some of these drinks we mm -hmm. take. Yeah, some of these juices they are acidic in nature, and so they cause trauma. They erode the tooth substance. So our diet is very, and then for some of us that like these uh, uh, local plants, we call it uh, dodo, plantain, ripe plantain. Mm -hmm. All these are kinds of diet that could cause uh, caries and that could cause harm to the teeth if adequate care is not taken. So is it that we're not supposed to eat these foods or in moderation? What's, what's the dental advice? Yeah, the dental advice is you eat them. We cannot ask you not to take these foods. Okay. But you eat them. But most important, we advise on the timing of eating them mm -hmm. and what you do immediately after taking them. Like I said earlier, the timing of eating them, you eat these uh, meals just before your regular meal time. 
So even when you have these residues depositing on the tooth surfaces, when you, the chewing action, the masticatory action of your regular meal will help to get these residues off the surfaces of the tooth. But even when you have to take them away from meal time, we advise adequate rinse out mm. with water so that you don't have these residues there. So it's not you, 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 you take, but it's the timing and what you do after. Interesting. In interesting point you mentioned. So it's important that when we take these foods, we put some water in our mouth, yeah. gargle, and spit it out. Exactly. What are some other health, oral health practices we need to imbibe in this era of coronavirus? Mm. Now, th this is a... I don't want to say catch-22 situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know the coronavirus, and we know uh, the virus majorly resides in the oropharyngeal area that's around the throat region. And this is where most dental procedures take place around the mouth and that. So uh, on one hand, we advise that you take particular care of going to the dentist at this particular period. But on the other hand, we don't want you to stay away from the dentist, from your dentist too long, because that could also be injurious to you. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what we advise is most centers, uh, most centers advise to taper down some of these procedures that, are, that we call aerosol generating procedures. These procedures that you, you drill and they generate aerosol. So most centers now don't carry out much of those procedures, but emergencies are seen at all times. Mm. Uh, Dr. John Wimembu, thank you very much for coming on the news today. So shed more light on the importance of good dental health practices as we all, you know, join the world to celebrate Oral Health Day. Thank you very much, Anita. All right. We'll take a break here and we'll be right back. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.